Kia Maori's ex-husband Corey Hardrick's gut-wrenching confession about their divorce can make any grown man cry. In a candid and emotional interview, actor Corey Hardrick, known for his roles in films like Battle Los Angeles and The Oath, opened up about the painful dissolution of his marriage to actress Tia Maori. The couple, who had been married for over 14 years and shared two children, shocked fans when they announced their separation in 2022. However, it's the raw honesty and vulnerability Corey displayed in a recent conversation that has left many fans reflecting on the complexities of love, loss, and healing. During an interview, Corey revealed that the breakdown of his marriage to Tia was one of the hardest experiences of his life, one that left him grappling with feelings of failure and self-doubt. His words resonated deeply with listeners, especially his confession that he didn't see the end coming. The strain behind the smile. Corey began by explaining that while he and Tia had been through many ups and downs during their relationship, he never imagined their bond would ultimately unravel. Despite being in the public eye, both Corey and Tia kept their personal lives relatively private, which made their split all the more jarring to the public. But Corey admitted that their marriage had started to feel more like a routine than a passionate, evolving partnership. I thought we were good, you know, he said, his voice breaking slightly. We were still laughing, we were still raising our kids together. But sometimes, when you're so caught up in everything else, work, parenting, life, it's easy to lose sight of what brought you together in the first place. The actor went on to express how difficult it was to maintain a healthy relationship while juggling the pressures of a demanding career and a growing family. He acknowledged the challenge of being constantly in the public eye, which often placed additional stress on his marriage. I used to think I could handle everything. But I realized too late that I wasn't giving enough to the one thing that mattered most, my relationship, he confessed, adding that he wished he had been more present and communicative with Tia during their marriage. A lesson in vulnerability. Corey's emotional vulnerability about the divorce is particularly striking because, as a man in the public eye, he's often expected to exude strength and resilience. But his confession defies these societal expectations, showing the true emotional toll a divorce can take on an individual. For Corey, the most gut-wrenching part of the split was not only the loss of his wife, but the sense of failing his children. The hardest thing for me was feeling like I let my kids down, he admitted. You always want to protect them from pain, but sometimes, no matter how hard you try, life happens. Though Tia and Corey's separation was public, Corey has made it clear that he and Tia have remained amicable and continue to co-parent their two children, Cree and Cairo, in a positive and loving environment. Still, Corey expressed the deep emotional weight of their parting. I'll always love her. T is a great woman, a great mother, and we had something beautiful, he said, referring to their years together. But sometimes love just isn't enough to keep people together. It's not about what you want, it's about what you need, and sometimes those needs change. Learning to heal and move forward. In the wake of the divorce, Corey shared how he's focused on personal growth and healing. It's been a tough road, but I've learned a lot about myself, he explained. I've had to face a lot of uncomfortable truths, and that's not easy. But growth requires pain. The actor has also leaned into therapy and self-reflection as part of his healing journey. He's been vocal about his desire to be a better version of himself, not just for his kids, but for the next chapter of his life. I'm working on me, he said, noting that personal growth is something he wants to continue for the sake of his family and future relationships. Despite the intense heartbreak, Corey emphasized that he is not letting the pain of the divorce define him. Instead, he sees it as an opportunity to emerge stronger and more self-aware. You can't change the past, but you can change how you move forward, he said. The only thing I can control is how I show up for my kids and how I take care of myself. Fans react, an outpouring of support. Corey's heartfelt words have ignited a flood of support from fans, many of whom have gone through similar experiences of heartbreak and divorce. On social media, fans expressed admiration for Corey's courage in speaking so openly about his personal struggles. Many acknowledge that, in a world where men are often discouraged from expressing vulnerability, Corey's openness is both refreshing and inspiring. You've got to be strong, but also it's okay to feel weak sometimes, wrote one fan on Twitter. Corey, your honesty is a reminder that no one's perfect. Thanks for sharing your journey. Others pointed out that Corey's experience is relatable to many who have faced the pain of seeing a relationship they thought would last forever come to an end. One comment on Instagram read, I think we all thought they were the perfect couple, but life doesn't always work out the way we plan. Wishing Corey and Tia all the best in their healing process. Moving toward the future.
While Corey has undoubtedly been through a difficult chapter in his life, there is a sense of hope in his words. He recognizes that healing takes time, but he is committed to doing the work necessary to come out of this experience stronger. As for the future, Corey remains optimistic about love and relationships. I'm not giving up on love, he said. I just know that it's got to be real, it's got to be something that brings out the best in both people. And I'm open to that when the time is right. In the meantime, Corey is focused on his career and his children, both of whom remain his greatest priority. The actor is also looking forward to new projects in Hollywood, with upcoming roles that will see him taking on a wider variety of characters. While his marriage to Tia Maori may have ended, Corey Hardrick's journey of healing and growth is just beginning. And for many, his willingness to confront the pain and vulnerability of his past will continue to be a source of inspiration as he moves forward into the next phase of his life. Why Tia Maori? My next act is getting dragged by viewers. Tia Maori has always been a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her charm, acting skills, and her long-running role in the hit series Sister, Sister alongside her twin sister, Tamara. But despite her vast fan base and success, her recent reality series, Tia Maori, My Next Act, has left many viewers scratching their heads, with some fans even, dragging, the show for what they perceive as missteps in its execution. The show, which premiered on a popular streaming platform, was meant to be a docuseries about Maori's personal and professional journey following her public divorce from actor Corey Hardricht. With a focus on her transition into the next phase of her career, the show was expected to explore the trials, triumphs, and tribulations of navigating life after such a high-profile separation. Yet, despite its promising premise, it has been met with criticism, confusion, and disappointment from many viewers. Here's why Tia Maori. My next act is getting dragged by viewers, despite the star's typically positive reputation. 1. The lack of depth. Fans wanted more substance. One of the main criticisms viewers have leveled at my next act is that it lacks depth and substance. Audiences hoped for a more intimate look into Tia Maori's life, especially after her emotional divorce from Corey Hardricht, which played out publicly in 2022. Instead of getting the raw and vulnerable insights many expected, the show feels somewhat surface level, offering only glimpses into Maori's personal life without providing enough real emotional depth. While the show does touch on Maori's experience as a mother, her journey through self-discovery, and her professional aspirations, many fans feel the content is too scripted and polished, leaving them yearning for more honesty and authenticity. Instead of feeling like a real-life journey of overcoming obstacles, it sometimes feels like a glossy, heavily edited portrayal of her life. I thought we were going to get a deeper look into her life, especially after all the buzz around her divorce, one viewer tweeted. But all I'm seeing is a polished version of Tia that feels more like a commercial than a docuseries. Missed opportunity. 2. Overly commercialized and promotional. Another reason why the show has garnered backlash is its overwhelming focus on Maori's professional endeavors, which, at times, feel more like product placements or promotional material than genuine storytelling. For instance, the series prominently features Tia's ventures in wellness, acting, and lifestyle, but the promotion of her own business and personal brand is a recurring theme, with some viewers calling it, too much like a commercial. In one episode, Maori spends an extended amount of time showcasing her work with a new wellness brand, discussing her fitness routine, and even walking through the specifics of her brand partnerships. While it's not uncommon for a celebrity to feature their business ventures in a reality series, the constant focus on these ventures left many viewers feeling that the show was more about promoting her products than sharing real, relatable experiences. This is starting to feel like an infomercial, one viewer commented on Instagram. I want to see Tia's growth as a person, not just another way to sell something. 3. Unrelatable content for some viewers. While Tia Maori is undoubtedly a role model to many, some fans have voiced concerns that my next act feels out of touch with the realities of everyday life. Throughout the series, Maori is often seen attending glamorous events, working with high-end brands, and living in an expansive, luxurious home. For many viewers, this level of affluence and success is difficult to relate to, which detracts from the show's overall impact. In one of the most talked about moments in the series, Tia hosts a lavish dinner party with celebrity friends and peers. The extravagance of the event, from designer outfits to high-end catering, seemed out of sync with the struggles Maori was supposedly facing in her personal life. This disparity has caused some fans to criticize the series for presenting an unrealistic portrayal of post-divorce life, especially when so many viewers are struggling with their own challenges and trying to navigate life's tough moments. 
Tia Maori's life is so far removed from what a lot of us are going through, wrote one Twitter user. She's got all these brand deals, fancy dinners, and trips, and yet she's supposed to be relatable. It just doesn't hit the way I thought it would. 4. Tia's Limited Emotional Vulnerability One of the most anticipated aspects of the show was Tia Maori's exploration of her emotional journey following her split from Corey Hardricht. However, many fans feel that the series doesn't dive deep enough into the complexities of that transition. While Tia addresses the divorce briefly and touches on how it affected her, the show does not explore her emotional vulnerabilities in the way that viewers might have hoped. Instead, much of the emotional focus is on her professional reinvention, launching new projects, attending speaking engagements, and working to grow her personal brand. While this is certainly an important part of her journey, many viewers were hoping for more of a raw, unfiltered look at the pain of going through a divorce, the stress of co-parenting, and the process of finding yourself after a significant life change. Tia says it's about her next act, but I feel like she glossed over the hard stuff, another fan tweeted. Divorce is hard. I wanted to see her working through the real emotions, not just trying to make a comeback. 5. Perception of being too perfect. One of the reasons viewers have struggled with Tia Maori, my next act is the perception that Tia's portrayal in the series feels too perfect and curated. In an era where viewers are craving authenticity, Maori's seemingly flawless transition into her next act has left some fans questioning whether they're seeing the real Tia or just an image that's been carefully crafted for television. The show's heavily edited nature, combined with its upbeat tone, leaves little room for the messy realities that come with major life transitions. Divorce, personal growth, and career reinventions are often difficult and complicated processes, and the series feels at times like it's skipping over these messy moments in favor of presenting a more polished and aspirational version of Maori's life. Some viewers have even compared My Next Act to other celebrity docuseries that have tackled similar themes, such as Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith or The Kardashians, and found that Tia's series falls short in terms of emotional complexity and realness. I love Tia, but this just feels too staged and perfect, one commenter wrote on Reddit. We don't need to see someone's life in full glamour all the time. Show us the tough parts too. 6. Audience Expectation versus Reality Lastly, there's the issue of audience expectation versus the reality of what the show offers. Fans who were familiar with Tia from her sister, Sister Days, as well as her personal journey of motherhood and career reinvention, had high hopes for a show that was going to deliver a meaningful exploration of those aspects. However, the final product didn't meet those expectations, leaving many viewers feeling disappointed. As one of the more beloved stars of the 1990s and 2000s, Tia has built a loyal fan base that is emotionally invested in her. This investment means that when the reality show doesn't deliver on the promise of showing the real her, many fans feel let down. I thought this would be a deep, reflective show, but it's more about promoting brands and looking happy all the time, one user posted on Twitter. Tia deserves better than that. So do we. In conclusion, a missed opportunity. Ultimately, Tia Maori. My Next Act is a show that has garnered mixed reviews, with many viewers criticizing it for being too polished, too commercial, and not emotionally deep enough. While Tia Maori's fans adore her and have been rooting for her in this next chapter of her life, the series has not been the deep, reflective exploration of her personal and professional growth that many had hoped for. In a time when audiences are craving more authenticity and vulnerability, My Next Act might have missed the mark in delivering those elements. Still, Tia's fans remain supportive, with many hoping that future seasons, if they come, will provide a more balanced and raw look at her real-life journey. For now, the series has sparked a conversation about what viewers want from their favorite celebrities in the age of reality television, and how those expectations aren't always met in the carefully curated world of streaming content.